is life treating you, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another walkthrough, demo, whatever you want to call it, video in GT San Andreas in San Fierro, which is loaded with lots of people to interact with. In this case, one of the people is Zero. Um, he was introduced in Wearing Flowers in Your Hair, and after a while, and after CJ finishes the deconstruction mission, Zero contacts CJ about buying his store. After the Ron Fa Lee mission, CJ now has enough money to buy Zero's shop and CJ can enter the shop. Now, it's a small shop with empty cabinets and some RC stuff and kites and, you know, other things hanging around here, a employee, um, some shoppers, some model train stuff, uh, baskets, whatever. What's interesting is this uh, action figure rack. It has Grand Theft Auto Vice City action figures, which, being an action figure collector, I probably, or having been an action figure collector, I would have probably bought them. I might want to look them up on the internet. But this is Zero's back office. Um, no hidden door in the cabinet here. And the shop is now going to be CJ's property. And once you exit the shop, I'm going to run around here a little bit, take a look at the action figures and some of the displays. But once you exit the shop, CJ gets a call from Zero. Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission, deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Dropping in soon is immediately. Listen to this uh, dialogue between CJ and Zero. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. <laughs> Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty and small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. The gun is not really good in this mission, but as long as you Berkeley's can keep a full -scale one attack. control tower insanity. alive, you win the mission. He's so going just for my keep firing at these if miniature he takes them airplanes, out, I'll never be able to launch a take down as many as you can, and hopefully no problem, keep man, but one control toys. tower They're not toys. They're available. CJ, well, for the next 
three minutes and five seconds, CJ is going to be shooting at miniature airplanes. You try and get the dot onto the airplane, even if it's far back, but the swarms are coming and coming and coming, and it is really frustrating to try and shoot down these airplanes at a distance. Now, not all the bombs are going to drop on the building or the towers. So, all you got to do is shoot down enough of these airplanes and take them down before all the towers are destroyed. Again, all you have to do is keep one uh, tower around and some of these airplanes once they drop their bombs try and kamikaze in on the towers now this one boom I was able to shoot it down far enough away uh, keep trying to get the further away airplanes uh, again just keep one tower alive for the three minutes and five seconds that this entire mission takes. Uh, ignore uh, Zero's uh, trying to goad you. I thought you could shoot. He's not the one shooting the minigun. He's just running around with a fire extinguisher. But again, these, mach these tiny planes are hard to hit. And the further away you can shoot them, the better it is for the whole thing, the mission. But the gun seems to have a limited range as well. And, you know, it's kind of hard. You shoot these swarms of planes, and you can see you hit them. But again, not all the bombs are going to fall on the towers, and not all the planes are going to hit the towers. And you just got to keep one operational. As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. As I stated before, just keep one tower up and transmitting and you succeed. Now, you can then jump back and do another uh, zero mission almost immediately, but don't bother. Once zero is available, you can keep coming back. Notice that he's right next to a Brazilian wax salon, which would be far more interesting to uh, view, but I digress. Grab another uh, Desert Eagle and then run back towards CJ's uh, garage to save. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this type of uh, entertainment, subscribe. If you don't, well, move on. But subscribing, again, costs you nothing. Yeah, you and the hero, right? Right, it, but they're using bikes. you know, they I subscribe to... Dozens, if not, not right a hundred channels I that I occasionally watch. Again, as always, thanks for stopping by.